Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Kunal and today we are going to discuss how we can connect a UI path assistant with the orchestrator. So let's get started. So in the modern approach, basically we don't have option to create uh, different robots and assign uh, uh, licenses to that. So for that, uh, that is taken care at a group level. So we need to assign our user to a particular group if you want to allocate a particular type of license. So let's see how we can do that. So and see if we go to admin panel. So this is the user. Uh, so we need to go to the users and group. So this is the user which we have created. In my case, I have connected uh, my orchestrator with only one user. And if you go, uh, go to the groups tab, you will find different groups that are available and uh, the li UiPath license that it provides. So if you want to assign any type of uh, a license to your user, you need to add your user to any of these groups. So let's see how we can do that. So if you go to users tab again and then edit, so you'll find here we can add the user to the different groups we want. So for my case, I have a currently uh, added my user to the administrator group and the automation developer group but if you want you can change and you can use any permutation combination and also if you go to edit license so uh, here the option is use group allocation rules so that's how uh, i can uh, uh, add uh, my user to a group and it will take the license from that group but if you want to uh, uh, like uh, allocate a license directly to the user without adding that into any, any group you can do that as well there is a op there is option for that but for this particular demo we are not doing that so after uh, we are done with this uh, uh, adding uh, our user into a group so let's now open the our orchestrator page so if you see here currently we don't have any robots created and if you read this whole description you'll find that for the modern uh, folder uh, we cannot create a robot it will automatically create it as per the uh, user once we connected that with the uh, assistant and if you want to create a robot uh, uh, a ro robot manually you need to use a classic folder but uh, as this uh, account is new classic folder is not available for the new orchestrators so yeah that's not the case for this modern approach so let's now uh, go into the users tab and see so if you see there are many users and one of this user is my user which I connected so if we go to the edit this user we'll find different uh, options so here we have like automatically create an attended robot for this user so if you want to create an attended robot directly for this user we need to make this enable this option and uh, if we enable this automatically create a personal workspace it will create a like a personal uh, workspace folder it's nothing but a folder specific to that particular user and if you, if you want to also create an unattended robot for the same user we need to again enable this option and we need to provide all the other details and we have to update and other robot settings are also available in case if you want to change any of this so once uh, there if you go to the machines so there are basically two different ways which we can use to connect our ro robot. So let's delete this machine for now because we are going to create it again. So yeah, so there is no machine as of now. So there are basically two different ways which you can use to connect. One is directly sign in, uh, sign in, in the uh, UiPath assistant and it will uh, get the token from the orchestrator by user authentication and it will directly add a machine and robots itself another is the uh, another is the manual approach where we need to manually create a machine and then we have to add that machine with the uipath assistant so let's see both one by one so let me open our uh, uipath assistant so you can directly uh, sign in using this uh, by clicking this button or you can go into the preferences and then orchestrator settings and here you can click on the sign in button so once you do that 
it will redirect to the orchestrator cloud page and you need to provide your password for authentication once you authenticate it will ask it will give you this pop-up and if once you click open and it will just reload and yeah now you can see it is connected so if I open preferences again you can see connected and licensed so now if you again open the orchestrator so you will find if I just refresh this yeah so you will find a machine which is automatically created and if you go to the user sorry if you go to the robots you will find again two different uh, users robots that is created one is our attended uh, uh, robot and another is the RPA developer pro so yeah that's how you can see the robots are also automatically connected and yeah so this is one approach which we can use to connect our UA path assistant with the orchestrator the another one is the again the manual approach where we need to create a machine and then we have to connect that so let's see that as well Uh, so before that if I uh, uh, let, let's see how we can add a unattended robot also in this uh, for this user so for that you need to go to machines which is so you will find the machine which is automatically created so you need to go to edit and you need to allocate a license unattended license here so for this case we had a we gave a number one so one license we allocated for this user and now again we have to So again we have to go to the users and here we need to go to unattended we need to create uh, this and we need to provide the domain and uh, the details for, for that d you need to go to command prompt and you can type a pro command who am i so it will give you the whole domain name you can just copy that and you can paste it here for credentials we are using orchestrator database itself and we can give a password and if you want to disable concurrent execution you can uh, check this checkbox but I don't want to do that and you can update So once you do that if you go to the robots again and if yeah so if you can see it now there is an unattended robot also created for this user and you can use it while running uh, the uh, process so in an unattended mode for this user so now let's see the modern approach how we can do that we can connect uh, using the modern approach so for that let's disconnect it for now so let's sign it out and yeah it's disconnected so now let's create a machine so for this case we are creating a standard machine so let's give the machine name so to get the machine name again we have to go to preferences orchestrator settings we need to change the connection type from service URL to machine key. We'll get the machine name from here. Once we get that, we need to add that machine name here. We can allocate the license if you want. Like uh, we can add one unattended license to this here machine and then provision. Once we provision the machine, we'll get uh, 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 the machine listed in this machine's tab and we can copy the machine key after doing that we can go to the orchestrator and we can like uh, give the full path we can give the service uh, your orchestrator URL which contains the cloud dot 
uipart dot com slash organization id slash tenant name and then we can paste the machine key once done we can click on connect and it will connect to the user so but you uh, as you seeing this is connected but still it is showing connected but unlicensed so as of today there is a bug in the current ui path version which causing this issue but hopefully the ui path will resolve this issue soon soon and uh, yeah i think after that the process is going to be same and yeah that's how we can connect uh, our, our ui path assistant with the orchestrator so if you end up liking this video please hit like button and a sub to this channel will be fantastic so stay tuned till next time bye bye